Hey word nerds! Today we're going to be talking about one of my wordiest pet peeves. Hey word nerds! Today we're going to be talking about one of my wordiest pet peeves. Annoying, right? Today I wanted to talk to you guys about word repetition in writing. It's something that can easily sneak into your work without you ever really noticing and then slowly but surely deteriorate the experience your reader is having with your book. According to some very arbitrary googling, there are about 1,014,000 words in the English language. Please don't quote me on that. So that means you have a lot of options. Now you definitely shouldn't be throwing in random or unnecessarily complex words just for the sake of mixing things up, but that's a topic for a different day. What you should be looking out for are your crutch words or the words you use way too often out of habit. I know I have a ton. Everybody does, and you might not even notice that you're using them. Finding these words in your own writing can be really difficult because they're so familiar and you rely on them for familiar speech patterns and sentence structures. So what can you do? Well, the first thing is to figure out what your words are. Become very aware of when and how often you're using them. There are a lot of websites and programs out there that will take your manuscript and count all the words for you, telling you which ones you're using and how often. A lot of the words will be character names and things like and or said at first, but after that you're going to find the ones that are distinctly you. You definitely don't want to get rid of all of them, and part of this is your voice, but there are going to be ones that you're using too often to really let the narrative flow the way it should. I know for me and what I overuse, a lot of the words and phrases can be taken right out of the manuscript without changing a sentence's structure or meaning. In other cases, you're going to want to rephrase things completely in order to say the same things with different words. Basically, each overused word is going to require a different solution, so you might want to get a little creative. Just being aware of which words you overuse and when you need to change things up can go a long way towards polishing your manuscript. That's it for today. Hopefully we'll see you on Sunday for our next Word Nerds book club where we're talking about John Green's Looking for Alaska. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Hey Word Nerds! Today we're going to be talking about one of my wordiest pet peeves.